Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I did a video yesterday on um, how to do a fade wrap. I did not like the video and uh, actually I learned uh, quite a bit on um, do, what, doing the video when I did the first fade wrap and when I did the second one. Um, I wasn't pleased with the way the video came out because I learned a better technique and that's why I love uh, wrapping these uh, rods. You're always learning something good. And I um, I learned something uh, better and I want to teach you guys what I've learned. I've learned a lot from, uh, from watching other YouTubers and um, I think I've improved on the method. I mean, I've learned this from, this isn't my um, design, the fade wrap, but um, this is my way of doing it. I think it's a little easier and it might be easier for some. I just try to uh, improve. I like to find an easier way to do something as long as you come out with the same quality. Don't forget, while I'm thinking about it, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit that notification so you won't miss videos. I just tried to do this and I got halfway done with the wrap and the camera shut up and uh, I must have forgot to hit the record button. So we're going to do it all again. Now when I'm doing these, I explained in my other video, I like to start with a piece of tape and start up against that tape and then I know... Um, because let's say I got a guide here. I, I normally measure the distance because I like my stuff to be identical. So I don't like to uh, have one that's 10 millimeters and then the other one's 6 millimeters. I like them all to be uniform. So that stuff catches my eye. So I'm sure it does other people. And now uh, this rod does not have um, the real seat on it or the guides. I'm just doing it because um, I did not. I went to edit that first video I did, and I did not like it. So I'm I'm trying to do a simpler version. So let's say this is a casting rod. On a casting rod, your guides go on the top. So you would want to put your starting points and your end points on your threads on the bottom, because you do not want you do not want to see those points. So, and if you had a spinning uh, rod, your guides would be on the bottom, so you wouldn't want your starting points on the top, if that makes sense. You want to always have them away from the eyes. So, let's say, for example, this is a spinning rod. It don't matter what rod it is. I drew a little line on this uh, piece of tape here. And that's what we're going to shoot for. We're going to shoot for starting our threads and stopping our threads at this line so they're all together and they'll be in the exact same spot on the back side of uh, the rod that your eyes isn't looking at while you're fishing that's the goal that i'm trying to do so i have um cobalt blue and royal blue on my um rod wrapper so we're just going to do a fade um with those colors because that's what i already have stringed up and the way a fade works is we're going to start out with 10 of, uh, wraps of one color, go with one wrap of the second color, then nine wraps of the main color, and then two wraps of the secondary color, and so on and so forth. And then when you get to your five and five, and then you're going to switch it and start backing it down. And uh, I'm going to show you that process now. As always, I like to start out by taping. I'm a strong believer in taping it to the rod. I, I like to, I'm gonna move this over so it's in the better in the camera view. So that's where I want my uh, wrap to start and stop. So I'm trying to get it, bam, right there. So this will be one, I just crossed it on that line. So this is two. This is three. We're at four. And now this is five. Okay, so after five, I've explained in my other videos, I, I like to cut the, uh, the thread at five. See how it's going at an angle? It makes a big hump. I like everything to be straight. So what I'll do is I'll pull this to the straight point, tighten it back up, and then I'll cut that off right there. 
the reason I like this method that I'm uh, doing now is you're only using two tie-off points. Most people that I've seen, all the other videos where I've learned how to do this from videos, I'm not knocking them, they, they, those guys are great teachers, but they would wrap one and then tie it off, then wrap the two and then tie it off. The way I'm going to teach you is you're only going to have two tie-offs. That's it. You're going to use two threads. That's it. Instead of using 20 threads. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're at wrap five. We're going to write here LB for light blue, B for blue. So that's wrap five. This is six, seven, eight, nine, and this is ten. Tighten it up a little bit, make it nice. And like I said, I just did this and my camera wasn't recording, so uh, I'm a knucklehead. So I already cut um, off in the first, when I first tried to do this, I, I cut it off of the uh, spool. So what we're gonna do is I just cut off a good length. You don't know what you're, how much you're gonna need, so you just, you always want more than less, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put this under at that starting point because I always want everything to start and stop at the same spot and we're just going to tape this off now we just want one thread wrap in here so we're going to get that into its spot we're going to just come around one time and then go back up underneath it The goal is to try stopping them, starting them at the exact same spot. Because if you don't, you'll have two in for a second. So we'll just put another piece of tape over here to hold this out of our way. And then we'll move our guide back over, our, uh, our guide for our wrapper, just to keep it lined up. So we're on our first wrap right here of the light blue. So now this is two. Tighten this over a little more. That's two. This is three. That was four. Was that four? I think so. Let's double check. Yeah, that's four. Okay, now this is five. Like I told you before, at five, I like to cut at five. Sometimes you can't do it, but that's what I like to do. I'm just unwrapping this to get it out of my way because I do want to cut this one off now. It don't need to be there. You don't want it, it just makes it bulky. We'll cut that clean, tighten everything up again. Now we'll tape this back where it was out of the way. There we go. So that was five. This is wrap six. This is wrap seven. Now we're on wrap eight. And now this is wrap nine. And like I told you before, see, I forgot to write it down, but we want we had 10 of the, the light blue, one of the blue. Now we just did our nine, so that means we need, of this blue, we need two wraps. Now see how I just keep, keep doing this. I, I keep this over here this line out of the way so I don't have to redo another one and start. It makes it less bulky. It's a nice clean look this way. So what we'll do is we'll just come around two times. So that's one. We'll tighten that up a little bit, get it nice. We'll move this over next to it. So this is number two. Tighten that up a little bit. Put our piece of tape over here, back out of the way. We do not want this thing to keep getting in our way. So we got our two wraps now. Let's write it down before we forget. Two. Okay, so we're on our first wrap. So 
So that was wrap one. That was wrap two. That was wrap three. That was wrap four. Five. Six. Seven. And that was wrap eight. So we're looking here, we know we needed eight. So we stop, we write it down, we, did, we just did eight. So now we know we need three on this one. The only drawback with my method is you have to keep unraveling this off the line, or off the rod rather. I do not mind doing it because it's such a cleaner look. And like I said, you're only, you're only tying off the, the, the couple times. One in the center when you do your transition, which I'll show you in a minute, and then at the end, that's it. So now we know we need three of these. So let's do our three. I'm gonna move this over, get a little gap. There we go. Oops. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Before I put it under, I'm gonna start to tighten everything up. take this back out of the way we got tension on it now by the other line being over the top of it so that's our three wraps let's write it down so now we know we need seven of this light blue okay that was one wrap That was two, that was three, that was four, that was five, that was six, that was seven. See, we're off our mark a little bit. I mean, a little's not gonna um, ruin anything. Like I said, this is out of your sight mark. But I, I, I'm a little anal when it comes to that. So what I'll do is I'll pull this. And I'm right back on my mark. Then you close that off. So we did our seven. Now we're after four of these blue ones. Back it up a little bit. See, we got a little space there. You see the white from the rod blank. And we'll come around four times this time. One. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Tighten everything up. Put our tape on there, keep it out of our way. The tape is really important to me. Okay, so let's write our four down. We want to stay on track. We're going to tighten this up as we go. You do not want to have a gap in there and try to deal with that later on. Okay, so we went around once while we were tightening that up. We're actually on our second turn. So let's tighten this back up. Okay, so that's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. And that is six. And so now we did our six. Write it down. Now see how I, I'm using the same line. I'm just keeping it out of the way. Everybody else puts one, ties it. Puts two, ties it. Puts three, ties it. I'm, I just don't see the point in all that. When we can do this and make a perfectly good wrap and it's less work. 
So we're going to do our five wraps now. We're getting ready to do our transition. We're going to switch into the other color. And that's going to uh, be coming up here after this next wrap. So that's two, three. And you're always keeping tension. Four. And we need five. So this will be five. Just gonna hold this here and tighten this stuff up real quick. Now we're gonna get that to our starting point. Okay. So that was our five wraps. Oops, five. So we're gonna tighten this up now. Like I said, you wanna always, always be tightening your threads up. See my little white gap right there? We wanna close that in. So that was one wrap. This is two wraps. This is wrap three. Okay, so this is going to be five wraps, and then we're going to start five wraps with the other one. So since this is our um, fifth wrap, we're going to cut this one off. I know it, it seems weird, but um, trust me on this one. You don't want to try to uh, do this the whole way. It really gets complicated, and, and I'm only telling you from experience. So we're going to pull that nice and tight. Close up that gap. And we're going to use our razor blade this time to cut it because I want to cut it as short because that's only three wraps right there. Okay, so now that's out of there. That's wrap three. This is wrap four. And this is wrap five. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this right here, hold the tension. And I'm going to loosen up the tension on the thread. Get some slack there. And then I'm just going to cut it. Remember I told you, you're only going to have a couple transition points, or a couple tie-offs. And this is going to be one of them. So I'm going to come down here like this. And now I'm just going to spin the rod to get this out of the way. And then we'll tape it here. Put a piece of tape here. We'll hold it out of the way. So now we're going to um, get our royal blue and we're going to string that into our rod wrapper. If I can find the starting point to it. I've got chubby fingers. Okay, let's get this spun up and we'll see what happens here. get off there. Alright, here we go. Got that there, got that there, now we got that there. Okay. So that was our five. We forgot to write that down. I always do that. So now we're only needing four wraps of this one. I'm going to use this same piece of tape since it's already there. And we're going to run four out of this. Like I said, we always want to start and stop at our same point. So that's pretty close. No, it wasn't. Okay. So that's one. That's two. And this is three. Now see how it's all nasty looking right there? because we got so much thread and they're going at an angle. I hate it when they're going at an angle. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pull this up to where it goes, straight here, and we're gonna cut that off. And 
and we can actually cut this one out now too so there you have it we're at our three mark remember so this is number four so that's four wraps so now we're going to pull some of this light blue off and we're just gonna do that this so now we did our four so we need four wraps with this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our tape here to hold this end piece four of these cut off way too much thread but that's what it is okay that cut this one out of the way the tag end we don't need it now it's under there good and then we're gonna move the main line over here okay the light blue we just did our four you know we messed up on the blue messed up on the blue see we went four four five four that should have been a six so we're gonna go back and fix it I do not like mistakes Okay, that's number four. This is five. And this is six. That's what we need is, see I had to back it off because um, I, wrote, I did four and then had to take it apart. So we wanted six. So now we want one, two, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So now we got to do the four of blue. And that's, we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We're just going to get it up under here. We're going to give it a little piece of tape to hold it in place. Move it up to get some tension on that line. We want the tension on there good. So just to get started, you need a lot, a lot of tension to hold that thing. It'll unravel on you. Tension's your friend when you're doing rod wrapping, let me tell you. Let's get a little bit more gap there. Okay. So that's one. That's two. That's three. And 
And that's four. Just gonna tuck that up under there for a minute. Get it up here, tighten it up. Now we'll tighten everything up. I'm gonna get one wrap on here before I cut that tag end off. So now we got our four of the light blue. We can tighten that up. We can get rid of this guy now. We can put this one over here in this place. Keep it out of the way. So that's one wrap. That's two wraps. This is wrap three, four, five. That's six. And now that's seven. And as you can see, it's starting to switch from one color to the other. It just does it gradually. It looks really cool on the rods, that, that uh, rod raffle rod, I did that on it. It, it, look, it come out really good, the guy liked it a lot. So we did four on the last one, so we're just going to do three. Do one. This is two. That is three. Bring it over here. Tighten it up. I mean, you get in a groove and you can do it fast once you've been doing it a while. But if you want to do a fat, something really fast, rod building's not really for you because it is slow pace. So that was our three on that one. So let's write it down. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're not, now we're on eight. This is wrap two. This is wrap three. This is wrap four. Five, six, seven. Actually, that's eight. So there's our eight. Now we just need two. Let's untangle this. One, two, tighten it up. That was our two. Now we're on nine. That was one. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, and that's nine. And now we just need one. And then this thing can be cut and then we'll have one tie off at the end. See, we didn't have any tie offs yet. This will be one tie off. We did a transition, but it didn't tie off. So what we're gonna do here is, is come around, come up, get back under it. single one. Let's tighten this up as we go. Okay, that's one complete turn. That's two complete turns. Okay, that's three complete turns right there. Okay, that's four complete turns. So now we're going to get rid of this guy. Remember, we're only doing 10 turns. So we're gonna get this out of here. Then we're gonna go around one more time. Okay, that's turn five. Now we're gonna pull our, put our pull string through there. That's turn five. And actually we started right there. that pull string will get wrapped up in your line so just get a little tape over there hold it out of the way okay so that's wrap five six seven eight nine okay that's ten wraps so what we'll do is we'll hold here keep the tension relieve the tension on our uh, thread cut it send it through our pull loop here and then hold now we got tension here we'll let go with the back hand we'll just pull this thread puller like that okay so what we're gonna do now is we can let go with this one now because this has got it we're just gonna pull it straight through so now it's hanging out here so what we'll do is pull it this way and then we'll get our razor blade and we'll cut it as close as we can here and then we'll just clean everything up we'll take our tape off cleaning and that right there is a beautiful fade wrap you started the blue this way light blue fading into dark blue perfect fade wrap right there thanks for watching everybody